Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. Chloe Reeves and I are extremely excited to be at the home of Brown and Homes, where we're going to be investigating how they manufacture some of these bespoke fixtures. This particular hydraulic one is for a horizontal machine tool. We're going to be looking at the machine tools in which they are made on, and we're also going to be looking at some of the standard products that they offer. Yeah, they definitely practice what they preach here at Brown and Homes. We're also going to be looking at some rotary tables, some mist busters and some Wogard applications. So, should we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look. Hey, up, Chloe, there you are. I thought you got lost for a minute there, mate. I did get lost, but now I've found you. Let's get right into it. What, yeah. what, what are we looking at? Let's go. So I want you to tell me a bit more about Brown & Holmes and their rotary axis. So Brown & Holmes now offer a large range of rotary tables, fourth and fifth axis rotary tables, the Peisler range of rotary tables. Now this German made rotary table is extremely accurate. It's extremely rigid and it is in such a small footprint. Large range, small ones, large ones, very easy to interface with the machine, but more importantly, it really fits in well to the portfolio of products that Brown and Ohms offer. For example, we can put trunnions on them or integrate some of their bespoke work holding solutions along with the fourth axis rotary table and that's the thing with brown and homes they don't just do bespoke work holding for themselves they obviously do fourth axis fifth axis and the range is huge so geo we've got an actual bespoke fixture here the brown and homes are created so what's this going to be used for so this is a perfect example really chloe of what we've been talking about this is a fixture that they've made themselves to use themselves and it's to hold lots of components all at once. This could be um, put onto a rotary table, so you've got adjacent side milling, and the adjacent side milling can be achieved. And behind you, Chloe, the Doosan Minx 9500, uh, 9, a large machine tool with a huge working envelope to accommodate for some of them really large work holding solutions that they make. And that's the thing with Brown and Holmes. But quickly, I just want to chip in as well to something that we did do before, and it's the Wogard coolant saving technology. So why are Brown and Holmes selling this product? Again, they've got filtration systems here, the mist buster, which we're going to look at uh, shortly. But with the Wogard, it just saves coolant. It's good for the environment. So another standard product that Brown and Holmes offer. So behind me as well, we've got some five axis machining, new technology, which is great for Brown and Homes to be able to invest in. What else have they invested in, Geo? Well, they've also invested and in supply automation. So Chloe, the automation, the Techman robot. Now this has got built in vision. You've done some fantastic reviews on the Techman robot, but also the Eva, two of the automation uh, solutions that Brown and Homes offer. Yeah, so if you do want to get some more in-depth information on that, check it out on our CNC channel. But the thing is, I spoke to Daniel behind us, who's actually programming this cobot, and it's just great for Brown and Homes to be able to get into the automation industry. These are so easy to use, and if you are looking for that next step up in automation, this is a great product and the best way to get started. Absolutely, and, and you mentioned Daniel, the apprentice. Um, Brown and Gnomes are also very heavily invested in apprentices and they've actually got their own apprenticeship school. Yeah, right here is where they teach their apprentices from start to finish. They're over the shoulder of the engineers and I know we both did an apprenticeship probably in two different decades but it's still the same apprenticeship and obviously behind us Geo <laughs> there's a Bridgeport milling machine which is just a delight for my eyes. So talk to me about how they're going to be using this. I don't like the decades thing Chloe. <laughs> um, this is absolute magic this is. I mean this really brings back memories I actually used this well not this particular one but exactly the same model the Bridgeport knee mill um, and we've just looked at the Peisler rotary tables but what about this an in indexing rotary table I can remember using one of them 
two back in the day and you know how much harder was engineering back in the day when you had to calculate the pitch and the angles and the, uh, how many holes that you had to rotate and this is where you really get the fundament, fundamental learning of engineering this is where you really learn you, you've used one of these yourselves yeah Chloe. I did literally a Bridgeport as well and like you said no matter how many years between us that we had our apprenticeship feeling the speed speeds and feeds and getting that right balance between between the tools and everything it's great to get that feeling and have a part at the end of it as well and just behind the camera is a Colchester lathe which both of us use so tell me more about this as well because I know it's very exciting and again Chloe you know I reckon Brown and Holmes have pinched all of the machines that I used to work on but I can remember you know working this every single day making proper components for CD Atkinson engineering back at, 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 at that, that time you know you've got your feeds and speed you've got your cam lock design chuck here and um, you've got the tail stock <laughs> that uh, chloe's demoing here um, you've got the little chuck to hold your drills tool station which you've got different pockets there for your different tools um, you can change the angles um, here to, to do chamfers you, again as chloe mentioned you really get that that fundamental learning from conventional machinery and it's absolutely key to start on the conventional machines before you prog progress to the CNC machines. Do you, do you agree, Chloe? I completely agree there, Gio. I don't think that apprentices should be allowed on high-technology CNC machines until they've had at least a year manual work on milling and turning. I think as well what Brown and Holmes do is they, met, they basically put the apprentices with the highly skilled engineers who have been here for a timeline of 20 years plus and being able to learn off the back of these engineers is a great way for them to start building their their engineering knowledge absolutely priceless couldn't agree with you more they should not be allowed to hit their <laughs> machines until they've worked these i'll tell you Sorry, I've got no 99 left, but I tell you what I do have. Me and Gio have just moved in to Brown and Holmes' other manufacturing unit. And behind us, we've got a Doosan with a really special table. Gio, tell me more. Well, Chloe, you're absolutely right. This further identifies some of their machining capabilities on this other manufacturing site. But they've also made their own bespoke base plate. Now, this has got a lot, a series of pitched holes in here and hardened bushes for zero point repeatability um, and also fixture repeatability and jig repeatability. This is what they've made for themselves and like Chloe alluded to earlier, it kind of shows that they practice what they preach. Solutions like this, they can also offer to their clients and, and, and customers. I think it's a great thing for Brown and Home to be able to use utilise this themselves and to be able to offer it to their customers. So me and Gio are just going to take down a walk down their manufacturing unit. So Gio, what else have Brown and Home's got to offer in this facility? Well, they've got so much machining capability. I mean, you mentioned ice cream, but this is like an, an engineer's uh, sweet shop in here. They've got so many, di uh, such a variety of different types of machine tools. We've got the Mazax here. We've just gone past a Doosan yep. lathe. We've got another Mazak VTC 760C here. So small machines, large machines. The mixture is 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 great, really. Also, we've got some of the old manual machines across there. Some of the old dev leagues and jig grinders for them very accurate bores. And then we've got this absolute beast at the end here, uh, Chloe, the Mazat VTC 830 SLR. This is a fifth axis machine with a rotary bed built into the, 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 the bed of the machine. And, and again, look at the size of this, Chloe. It's absolutely huge. And to have that three axis as well, and then the five axis on this machine for Brown and Holmes to be able to utilize themselves, sets them at such a high standard, it's, it's fantastic. And something else on this machine, we've got the Mist Buster at the top, haven't we, Chloe? You've learned a lot about this product today. Can you tell our audience what really sticks out to you about this particular product? So this Mist Buster, I spoke to Mark earlier and it's becoming legislation to have this on one of your machines. It actually recycles your coolant. It saves the customer up to 50% in profit, which 
I think everybody should jump at and also the customer can rechange and charge the Mistbuster themselves so you don't need a third party to come in and help you do it you're able to do it yourselves and I think Brown and Holmes to be able to offer this sort of application I don't know why people aren't jumping at the chance I mean with the electric static technology the running costs are really low and again how you how you've identified Chloe you know they're practicing what they preach look at the size and the envelope of this machine this unit here is extracting all of that mist it was just running you know seconds ago when we got to this point in the facility and you can't see no mist in the machine tool here and it's this all is gone this is this is this is why it's so important and this is what you want to see in a machine shop for brown and homes they're not just selling bespoke fixturing rotary tables different applications they're making things here right in the heart of the uk engineering they're selling solutions, they're giving you a solution. It's safe to say that we've had a brilliant day, Chloe. You know, we've seen so much in such a short period of time and we could have gone and seen a lot more. But what was your favourite bit about today, Chloe? I think talking to Mark about the Mythbusters and how much information, it's not just an extraction system, it is so, so much more than that. And also, Brown and Holmes, they're not just they're not just a work holding company, they're a bespoke work holding company and every single application that they sell has a use for somebody. They're also cutting really hard materials, which I really didn't expect. And to see the exotic materials round the workshop was amazing to see. And you're holding a little bit of the material there in your hand, a little bit of a swarf wand there, Chloe. I mean, we didn't even mention today the Atlin Steady Rest that they do or the Swiss Truck Range. We're going to be doing some technical corners on them products um, soon, so keep your eyes open for them. Um, the products that really stood out for me was, as what you've mentioned really, was some of the bespoke uh, work holding solutions that they manufacture. I mean, the work that goes into these fixtures is just absolutely astounding. And, and for me, they are pieces of art. I completely agree, Joe. The time and effort, the love and care that Brown and Holmes and all their engineers, they're not just products that are being sold to customers. You can see the time and effort, the blood, sweat and tears, as people would say. So Brown and Holmes as a company, as a whole, it's just been great to see what they offer. So Chloe, I think it's safe to say we've had a fantastic day at a proper UK manufacturer. Um, and as we always say, keep, keep those spindles, spindles turning. turning. So as we always say, keep those spindles, spindles turning. turning. <laughs>